excuse the light. I've been trying to fix that, and it just will not go away until it starts getting dark out. But, uh, I'm just going to deal with it. In 2002, Halloween Resurrection was released, and it ended the original Halloween series. For good reason, because that series is dead. And I hope the new Halloween really, the new Halloween coming up this year, really, uh, fixes that issue, as I would say. But after 2002, the series ended. Good. And they wanted to remake it. Good. It needed it. What it didn't need was Rob Zombie behind the camera and writing the film. Because Rob Zombie, in my opinion only, if you like the movie, that's fine. He ruined Halloween. To me. Here's why. In Rob Zombie's first Halloween, and this is the one I only want to talk about. I'm going to talk about Halloween 2 in another video. I'm, I'm dreading making that video, but I'm going to have to anyway. In Rob Zombie's Halloween, we have 45 minutes of a backstory that we don't need of why Michael Myers kills people. And then we have a boring reimagining of the original in the second half of the movie. Doesn't seem very original, does it? The story, the backstory wasn't very original. You see that he comes from a white trash dysfunctional family. Well, of course he's going to kill people. You saw the way his stepfather treated him. Yeah, he's going to kill people. You've already, he's already killing animals. Why is he not going to kill people? You know, that's all courtesy to Rob Zombie and his poor writing. Speaking of his poor writing, he can't write dialogue for shit. You know, he really, really, really does not know how to write dialogue without saying fuck, or piss, or shit, or cunt, or cock, or damn, or hell, or bitch, or any of the seven bad words a Squidward would say. Why? Why, why did it have to be this way? Why couldn't we have got a good Halloween remake? So... I'm going to maybe talk about a couple positives that are to Rob Zombie's Halloween. And that would be Danielle Harris. I like her as always. She played a very... She did a very good job at playing Annie Brackett. And this one is not necessarily a pro, but it's a... Something that's not a flaw would be Malcolm McDowell. Now, he did a great job. He's, he's a great actor, but... That Dr. Loomis, his Dr. Loomis, felt exactly like Donald Pleasance, except not as good as Donald Pleasance. And the third thing I like about this movie is the cinematography. There are some shots that I really, really like in this movie. Uh, for instance, the, the scene where uh, Lori and the kids are in the bathroom, and the cops are out there, and when Michael Myers is out there uh, fighting with them in the hallway. I like that, I like that camera work. I thought that shaky cam was, was fine. And I'm not even a big fan of shaky cam. But this movie really, really, really has its problems. And problem number one is we get the 45 minutes of the backstory we don't need. And I honestly, I feel that, okay, you wanted to go the route and make it a backstory. You didn't have to make it so cliche and obvious. You know, of course he's going to kill people when you see the way that Rob Zombie wrote his backstory. It makes you sympathize with Michael Myers. You don't sympathize with Michael Myers. Michael Myers is a killer. He is evil. But Rob Zombie had to write it to where you have to sympathize with him. And my next problem comes along with Michael Myers. When he's a seven foot hulking maniac, I tend to have a problem with that because my Michael Myers is 5'10", 5'11", 6 foot. You know, He's an average-sized man. He is evil. He doesn't grunt when he kills people. And if you listen closely, in the first Rob Zombie Halloween, you can hear him grunt. I know it's more obvious in the second one, which I'll talk about, like I said, in the in the Halloween 2 remake review. But uh, in this one, if you listen closely, you can hear him grunting. I don't like that. I really don't like that, because Michael Myers is supposed to... He has the absence of character. He doesn't have emotions he doesn't get angry he's just evil he kills because he is evil 
that is a huge problem to me that what Rob Zombie did um but as far as Michael Myers I mean he shouldn't be seven foot tall he, I'm sure he pisses I'm sure when he pisses it's like a fucking garden hose and that he shits elephants he shouldn't be seven foot tall like I said but one positive to Michael Myers though is I like the mask don't get me wrong I love I, I really like that mask it's kind of creepy. In this case, I don't mind seeing the eyes. You know, I'm not trying to bash this movie completely. I'm trying to point out the things I do like about it, the redeeming qualities. Uh, but sadly, the redeeming qualities don't eat, balance out with the bad things. But, uh, yeah, that's Michael Myers. Another thing I have a problem with is Laurie Strode. I really, 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 really dislike Laura Strode this movie because I don't like the fact that she is very, very skanky and slutty and sexually promiscuous. She was she was a, a bit of an introvert in the in the original one, in the original Halloween, and I, I don't I don't think they should have made this Laurie Strode exactly like that Laurie Strode. They should have made Laurie this kind of happy, kind of joyful. Uh, extroverted, you know, prep. They could have made her a lot more preppy. They could have made her like, oh, I love school and this and this and that, and just gave her all the innocence in the world. But and they somewhat did that, but they added a slutty aspect to her, and it just didn't really mix to me. Like that, that kind of stuff doesn't really mix. Um, that and whoever played, I can't remember her name that played Lori. I found her to be very annoying. Not as annoying in this one as she is in the next one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Lori, I, did, I didn't like Lori in this movie at all. Um, and another thing I really hate about this movie is the white trash aspect. It's hard for me to sit and watch this when I have to deal with white trash like that all the time where I live. Because it's like that. There's lots and lots of trash. I mean, it's like that everywhere, but here I live in Tennessee, so it's pretty bad and I'm sure you can only imagine what it's like I don't like what Rob Zombie did to Haddonfield Illinois ha Haddonfield Illinois was this happy-go-lucky town it was just it was a normal town you know and then he changed it and, like people there were were nice and then he changed it to this white trash infested uh shithole that just didn't feel right to me really I just it didn't feel like Haddonfield it felt like fucking Tucson, Arizona or something. And it just, it didn't feel like Halloween to me. It felt more like Southern Fried Horror, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, next, I guess I would say that I dislike the dialogue a lot. The dialogue is very, very... It, it feels studio-written. It doesn't feel like teenage girls having a conversation. Now, I'm going to be honest. The original Halloween didn't have the best dialogue either. But it wasn't, Oh, look at him, this fucking idiot. Fuck, 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 shit, 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 fuck. Oh my god, this fuck, 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 shit, shit, piss, 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 balls, balls, cock, cock. That doesn't feel authentic, alright? That, that feels like a, a, a mixture of a, an edgy 14-year-old kid and a 50-year-old biker, I guess, writing uh, dialogue. It's just, it's pathetic. Very pathetic. I can't stand it. I've, I've said everything I can say about Rob Zombie's Halloween. I'm going to give it... I'm going to be nice and just give it an F. Uh, if you like the video... Thanks for watching. I know I wasn't very energetic. It's because I'm very tired. I've been on a new schedule and it's been kind of rough on me. But uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we're out.